What's up, fight fans? I'm Jake Otto, and welcome to Jake Otto's Fight Page. Today, I want to talk to you about something that's called premature notions. You know, I can understand how certain fight fans feel when, you know, certain fighters that they favor or they like actually come off with a good victory, and I can understand that. But and then it's these premature notions on how they feel that their fighter all of a sudden can take on other fighters from different weight classes, let's just say, you know, um, and then it just comes to this ridiculous thing where this fighter of this era could defeat fighters from yesterday's era only because of that one performance from a fighter that was basically shot. Now, let me tell you something about Mikey Garcia. All congratulations to him. You know what I mean? I hope that uh, he furthers his career with victories, you know? But the thing here is that most of you fight fans have to understand this. He was already fighting a shot Adrian Broner. If, and, I, and, I, and I said this a while back. I'm going to say it again. If Broner could not beat Sean Porter, and if Broner could not knock Malinaji out, Right before that, before Porter. Now, he couldn't beat a Porter either. Now, he couldn't outpoint Mikey Garcia after people in the boxing world, even fans, have given Adrian Broner the, 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 the title of fastest hands, right? A decent knockout power, but he was neutralized. And the only reason why, he, two reasons why, Adrian Broner was neutralized. The first reason was because he was not focused. Two, Mikey Garcia is just that nice. Now, this is what really, really swells my nuts. I don't like the fact that now everybody's saying that Mikey Garcia is in the same motherfucking plateau, the same echelon as Manny Pacquiao, and other elite fighters. And I, I just I just want to tell everybody, this is exactly why fighters like Lomachenko, who get pushed, you know what I mean? Who get pushed too quickly, too prematurely, and then all of a sudden it's just like, oh, you know, a lot of fight fans just look at him like he has a lot to prove. And this is... This is where you guys go wrong. This is where you place you, those fighters, your fighters, you place them in this in this category where it makes other fight fans look at these guys and say, come on, are you kidding me? This guy better than this guy, and he's just fought this guy? I mean, see, so you guys have to understand that, that premature notions are not needed. Now, Mikey Garcia is going through them a lot. If you go through boxing forums like I do, if you debate like I do, if you drop videos like I do, if you're just around in boxing like I am, you will see exactly what I'm saying is fact. You know what I'm saying? Mikey Garcia never would have survived a fucking Manny Pacquiao. You feel what I'm saying? The only way he was going to actually do something to Pacquiao was fighting like Jeff Horn, which was dirty. You know what I mean? And that's another thing that a lot of people have to see, too, with this Jeff, Jeff Horn and Manny Pacquiao. That Manny Pacquiao is a finished, and those that are in denial... And don't want to actually say that Jeff Horn was a big fucking cheater and there were a lot of things going up against Manny Pacquiao. Well then, and you can praise other fighters going to other countries to fucking fight certain fighters and you can't Pacquiao. Well, it's just the hate. The hate is real. This has been going on since May Pac back then. And a lot of motherfuckers just can't grow up. And that's why a lot of motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing. You know, and I will continue to say it. And if you feel any fucking different, any, mother, any one of you motherfuckers, come see me. Come see me so I can disintegrate you. You know what I'm saying? It's just to the point, man, that these premature notions got to stop. Mikey Garcia would not have survived the Manny Pacquiao. He would have been too slow for Pacquiao. That's number one. You know what I'm saying? Number two, him and Vasil Lomachenko is a very good match. But as you can see, Vasil Lomachenko is bitching out because he's talking about he's not going up to 135, which I think is bullshit. He should. Do you feel what I'm saying? Because from 135 to 140 is where the serious motherfuckers are. Now. What's in store for Mikey Garcia? Like I said, he could go back down to 135 and get a Lomachenko or maybe a Nicholas Walters. You feel me? Now everybody, oh, Walters is easy work. Okay, well, you know, he, he just finished losing to a guy who's pound for pound. 
you know what I'm saying? At at if I'm not mistaken, 135, 100, 130, should I say, right? Which is Vasil Lomachenko, the Matrix, right? So I, I I don't understand how you guys also are biased with your choices. Feel what I'm saying? You know, there's also been a lot of things going around where where people are saying stuff like Anthony Joshua. Is ducking, you know what I mean, Wilder and stuff, and you know, like I said, man, you know, these are the, the, these are things that you guys have to understand and see, man. Wilder's protected by the WBC. The WBC will always protect Wilder. Why? Because they're trying to feed him Stavern again, but now they're switching. They're trying to give him King Kong Ortiz. But the thing is that, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna still be Stavern. They just when they throw these little quiffs and tiffs inside. Little monkey wrenches and shit inside of of of, of, a, of a fighter's fucking, you know what I'm saying, momentum. It's only to make that fighter look good. And what they're doing now, see, I can see right through this. And I don't give a fuck who don't like what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? But I can see right through this. So now they're trying to make Anthony Joshua look like the fucking, the, the scared ass motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? When in reality, let's take a look at this right now, fight fans. Anthony Joshua is going to fight again Vladimir Klitschko. Then you got Wilder, who's going to fight Stavern again, right? So which fight would you rather see? Which fight was more competitive to you? Which fighter between Stavern and Klitschko is more competitive to you? See, this is the problem that I have with a lot of Wilder fans and a lot of Wilder, you know what I'm saying? You guys got to understand, okay, I understand he's a black American. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? It's been a while. It's been a while. But how are you guys giving him credit for Pavekin taking step aside money as to him coming up dirty, which we never got fucking results physically, right? Right? And giving him credit. Oh, he went to another man's country and did this and did that, but he didn't really fight at all. He didn't. He never fought Pavekin in the country. So how are you giving this man props? Every call out that Stavern, I mean that, that Wilder has given, has never come to fruition. Okay? You guys can... Hand clap, hold up signs for Wilder, that's not helping him. His fight selection sucks. You know what I'm saying? He will never fight a white, okay? He will never fight a Chisora. He will never fight anybody rough and rugged, man. So far from what I've seen. So Wilder, too, is on the premature notioned bandwagon as well, where you guys are placing this guy... As one of the top fucking heavyweights, but yeah, he hasn't fucking fought anybody. And every time he calls somebody out and they ask him when the fight's coming, oh, you had to talk to Al Heyman. So this shit with, with, with Wilder or, or Joshua Duck and Wilder, you guys really have to check out the fight selection to actually tell who's really fucking ducking who. You feel what I'm saying? If there's a rematch clause between the Klitschko, then you know what? He can get Klitschko. Klitschko's a much better fighter than fucking Stavern. That's something I'd rather see. And there's the and there's the fight selection difference right there as well. While while they ain't fighting nobody that that he can't beat, Anthony Joshua just just finished. You know what I'm saying? Having a great fight, and he's about to have a second one with Klitschko. Now with Joshua. Underestimate Klitschko and will Klitschko come to the to come off, you know what I'm saying, to the top and fuck up the whole fucking scene right now as the veteran with the champ with the strap, which I thought Manny Pacquiao was going to do, but maybe Klitschko can do it. But I doubt it because Anthony Joshua has learned. You know what I'm saying? He's graduated. And this is something that Wilder has to has to go through. But otherwise than that, my name is Jay Cotto. Thank you for joining my fight page. God bless, stay vigilant. Peace.